Hello, I'm Mark Gross, and I direct the Atlas Institute here at the University of Colorado Boulder. And I'm speaking to you live from the Binny Schnabel lobby of the Roser Atlas Center. Um, we've all been working online for the past couple of months, uh, doing our teaching, taking our classes, and looking at projects, and trying to stay together as a community using online media throughout this crazy pandemic time. But I wanted to come back to the building here because that's the place where I spend my time and where you spend a lot of your time in your studies here, of creative technology and design, to celebrate you because it's commencement time, it's graduation. And uh, I wanted to remind you of all the amazing work that you've done over the past few years. Um, this is, it's been fantastic and we've enjoyed having you with us and uh, we want you to come back. So I wanted to remind you about the place as well as the, the ceremony of, that we're celebrating today. So congratulations on this great day and enjoy the video. Hi, I'm back, and I'd like to say just a few words about the Atlas Institute, the place where our graduates have been working during their time at CU Boulder. We're located in the physical center of the Boulder campus in a Roser Atlas building. The building houses not only classrooms and lecture halls and offices, but also research labs and studios and an amazing experimental performing arts center on the B2 or second basement level. These places are important, indeed essential, to the work we do at Atlas because in addition to listening to lectures and doing homework and taking tests, one of the most exciting things a student can do at Atlas is participate in the research and creative work of our faculty members. And many of the graduates today have spent, indeed, some time working with our faculty in their research labs and studios. I said that our building is in the middle of the Boulder campus, but our programs are anything but middle of the road. Atlas is a place where a student can explore their intellectual passions, find their groove, scratch a creative itch in the intersections and uh, boundaries and borders between traditional arts, sciences, and engineering. We attract a very unique kind of student, I think you know that, who is unafraid to venture into untested waters and who resists being typecast into traditional disciplinary molds. We think that's the future. This year, our graduation speaker is Dr. Eric Schweikart. He's the CEO and design director of Modular Robotics Incorporated. That's a company that we founded together based on a product he designed as part of his PhD dissertation. Eric is also a CU alumnus. He holds an undergraduate degree in environmental design from CU and a PhD from Carnegie Mellon University in computational design. He's a designer, an engineer, and an entrepreneur. He's a creative technologist par excellence, unafraid to transgress traditional disciplinary boundaries. I've seen him move fluently and fluidly from mechanical engineering to coding to electronics to business to graphic and product design. I like to think he would have been an Atlas student had our program existed at the time. Inspired by Buckminster Fuller, Eric has called himself a deliberate comprehensivist. He approaches everything with a design mindset. By way of introduction, I want to read you just a couple of sentences from his PhD dissertation, which seem today more apt than ever before. He wrote, Over the last thousand years, humans have made great progress in solving problems. Why then is the human race still plagued by many of the most pressing problems to ever face it? I strongly believe that it's up to designers to create solutions to these wicked problems, and my research seeks to advance the design of complex systems so that we can more effectively design our future as a species and as a planet. And with that, I give you Dr. Eric Schweikart. Congratulations, Atlas graduates. What a time for new beginnings. You may have heard politicians utter the phrase, never let a crisis go to waste, and here we all are, with no choice but to try and stay positive and use our exceedingly strange times as a catalyst for the change we wish to see in our lives. I'm Eric Schweikart. I'm a CU Boulder architecture graduate, a Carnegie Mellon computational design PhD, and I'm the founder and CEO of Modular Robotics here in Boulder. 
We make cubelets robot blocks, you know, for kids. I'm honored to be here sharing a few minutes of your commencement. When I was a kid, you know, up to about 30 years old, I was often jealous of experts, you know, people with narrow and deep skill sets, people with expertise, cellists, Tour de France winners, astrophysicists, all these stories about people who knew from a very young age that all they wanted to do was play piano, did so for years, and turned into Glenn Gould or something. I was never like that. I liked a bunch of different things, and I'd try things and drop them, flitting about from left brain to right brain. And not that I thought about it at the time, but making experiments. I guess you could label me a generalist, but the common label for that is a jack of all trades, and it comes with a lot of baggage. Later, though, I found the writing of Buckminster Fuller, and he liked to consider himself a deliberate comprehensivist, which makes all that flitting about seem much more intentional and positive. Anyway, it's only recently that I've realized that being a deliberate comprehensivist is the perfect style and preparation for designing products, for working with a diverse team, and starting and growing an organization through a lot of different stages. If you're a deliberate comprehensivist, celebrate it. You're going to do great. Back to robot blocks for a minute. We're about to manufacture the millionth cubelet, and over the last 10 years doing this, I've had a lot of time to think about how we change our minds as we grow up. You know that lovely phase where little kids are just starting to understand the world? Bus, tiger, it's fun, right? You can watch their little minds work just like primitive computer vision systems, parsing the field of light in their view, picking out objects and categorizing them, putting things into boxes. The trouble with this appears later when we keep doing that. Looked at Twitter recently or the news? People all over the place, adults, are still stuck putting things in boxes. Good, bad, red, blue, black, white. The world is actually a very complex place, and these vast oversimplifications are often a lazy way of thinking. It's great for four-year-olds to be putting things in the little black boxes, but the rest of our lives should be spent teasing the truth out of those labels. Nothing is one thing, and we should be skeptical of views that claim simplicity. Instead of categories, consider making sense of the world through tags. Now, I've just teleported into your TV or your laptop or your phone and dropped some unsolicited, questionable advice on you. Skeptical? Good. I have one more, and that's to watch out for should. It's everywhere. People are going to tell you what you should do all the time. They have been for your entire life. The advice is usually about them. It's not about you. Nobody has the right to tell you what you should do, and I think it's perfectly wise to be infuriated by should. Determining what you do is your inalienable right, and it's worth exercising. Come on, stretch with us. Do you want to be like most of the other people in the world? Me neither. Consensus is the enemy of the exceptional. In closing, again, congratulations. Atlas is an exceptional institution, and even though it might not feel like it right now, your time here has prepared you exceptionally well to thrive in an uncertain future. If we're smart, we might be able to rise from our coronavirus pandemic as a society that places more value on health, equality, and sustainability than we do now. The future is yours to design. Hi, my name is Jill Dupre, and I'm the Associate Director of the Atlas Institute and I co-direct our graduate programs. ATLAS is proud to offer a range of opportunities for interdisciplinary studies centered on creative technology and design at the graduate level. We have a PhD program for students whose interests extend beyond the boundaries of traditional disciplines. Students in our program study a range of interdisciplinary topics, including tactile interfaces and nanotechnology, collaborative technology and music, smart textiles, and tangible interaction design. This year's newly minted PhDs, Lila Finch, David Onk, and Clement Zhang, are an extraordinary group of scholars and visionaries who have developed their unique research in close collaboration with their advisors. It is an honor to have these advisors say a few words about the students and their work. I'm grateful to the advisors for their mentorship throughout each student's time in the program and for their words today. And I'm looking forward to seeing these students on the commencement stage in 2021 in the time-honored tradition of being hooded by their advisors. Congratulations again to each of you. We will miss seeing you around Atlas and look forward to seeing where your paths lead you.
To celebrate the hooding of Dr. Lila Finch is her advisor, Professor Ben Shapiro. Hi, I'm Ben Shapiro, and I was Lila Finch's PhD advisor for a dissertation entitled Luminous Science, an Investigation of Transdisciplinary Education. Dr. Lila, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. You did wonderful work, and I feel very fortunate to have been your collaborator in doing it. You've been a wonderful inspiration to all of us in the lab and a wonderful partner to me in exploring ways we can advance education. Congratulations and thank you. To celebrate the hooding of Dr. David Onk is his advisor, Professor Max Boykoff. Thanks, Jill. My name is Max Boykoff and I'm an Associate Professor in Environmental Studies. I'm also a Fellow in the Cooperative Institute for Research in Environmental Sciences, or CERES. I'm pleased to have a chance to say a few words of congratulations here for David Onk on this virtual graduation day. I first got to know David during his time in the series education and outreach group and was really pleased when he took steps towards entering into the Atlas Technology Arts and Media PhD program in fall 2015. And I was happy to become his advisor along the way. Over these years, David has, has worked very hard for everything that he's accomplished. More importantly, he's worked very smartly to connect up pressing issues that he studied for his PhD. His research focused on the interface of science and policy in issues of energy production, specifically oil and gas production in Colorado. So as David graduates with his PhD, I'm very excited for his future, and I'm happy and honored to virtually hood Dr. David Onk. I hope I get a chance to do this in person in the future, but for now, congratulations, David. To celebrate the hooding of Dr. Clement Zhang is his advisor, Professor Ellen Du. Clement, oh Clement, he's a wonderful person. He's smart, he reads a lot, he knows a lot. He is passionate about making things and creating tools for design. Clement is calm and thoughtful. You know that he makes everything better. Clement is a designer, educator, and researcher. He works on the intersection of industrial design, physical computation, and digital fabrication. I'm happy to have met and worked with Clement in Singapore at Georgia Tech and for his PhD journey here at the Atlas Institute at CU Boulder. I'm honored to present Dr. Clement Zen. Now, let me put a virtual hood over his head. Congratulations, Clement. Go see me, Zhen Zhihan Boshi. Dun 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 dun. Today, in addition to celebrating our PhD graduates, we recognize those students completing the Atlas Master's program in one of two tracks. In the Creative Technology and Design track, students learn the foundations of design, the business of creativity, and gain technical fluency to become creative problem solvers in a number of different career areas. This year's graduating class of 15 master's students are pursuing career paths in areas of interest, including immersive experiences for STEM learning, user experience design, virtual reality, and game design. They are headed to careers in companies such as Amazon and the North Face, and in new career fields, including creative technologist and design engineer. The master's track in Information and Communication Technology for Development, or ICTD, teaches students to use and develop technology as a tool for social impact and to tackle some of the world's biggest problems. The hallmark of this program is a semester-long final project, or practicum, where students address a real-world issue. This year's practicum project focused on creating reverse job fairs for the visually impaired. Students in both tracks are trailblazers. They chose this program because they wanted to bring their whole selves, including their creativity and technical acuity, to their careers. They are fiercely independent and forward-thinking. I co-direct the graduate programs with my colleague, Rache Cohen. Together, we strive to create highly individualized and tailored curriculum with a strong community and research and industry projects to prepare students for their future careers. I know Rache joins me in saying 
that the graduating students this year have surpassed all expectations. We are in awe of their accomplishments and in a very short time and look forward to inviting them back as guest speakers and mentors in the future. Roche will now introduce the Atlas Master's Program graduates and our class of 2020. It is my great honor to introduce our graduating students in the Master's of Science program. Phelan Bowie. Cody Candler. Gabriel Chapel. Brian Costanza. Maria Deslis. Cassandra Goodby. Farjana Khan. Grace Kroger. Ben Lee. Jack Lewis. Celeste Moreno. Rona Sedan. Mariana Tamashiro. Christopher James Vecchio. Sam Miller. The Atlas Technology Arts and Media, or TAM program, is designed for engineering students interested in studying creative technology and design. TAM students study design, programming, art, UX, animation, electronics, robotics, and game design, just to name a few. Matthew Bethencourt has directed the program from 2016 to 2020. When he started, there were fewer than 20 students in our major, and today we have almost 250. We'll miss having him as director, but we're thrilled that Ariel Hine will be directing the program and Eileen Pierce will be serving as associate director. And we're also pleased that Matt will continue as a senior instructor at Atlas and will further establish himself as a leading voice in game design and development particularly through his what festival. Matt, thank you so much for all that you've done for Atlas and for the TAM program. And with that, I'll turn things over to Matthew Bethencourt, who will present this year's graduates from the TAM program, including students receiving their Bachelor of Science Engineering degree in Technology, Arts, and Media. A lot of words have been used to describe the Atlas undergraduate technology arts and media majors. We say they're makers, self-motivated, compassionate, builders rather than users of technology, tinkerers, designers, outside the box thinkers, hybrids, creative engineers. But there's one word that I keep hearing being applied to our current crisis that I think equally applies to the undergraduates we're here to celebrate today unprecedented. And these are truly unprecedented times, unlike anything most of us have experienced in our lifetimes. But so are these students. The work that we saw three weeks ago at their capstone presentations was equally unprecedented. It was thoughtful and exciting and daring and elegant and unbelievably impressive. Normally, we only say this of the graduates, that they are on a precipice. But today we all are. 
We are all uncertain of what the future holds, and yet it is these students who are uniquely prepared and positioned to reimagine our collective tomorrows. They will not stand to live within the status quo. They will ask the important questions. They are the compassionate engineers and the creative visionaries who will make this world better than it has ever been. And I want to be the first to thank them for that. So, ladies and gentlemen, please join with me in celebrating these amazing people. And I welcome Eileen Pierce, Associate TAM Director, to now introduce the Technology, Arts, and Media class of 2020. Congratulations to all of you from the entire Atlas faculty. We will now recognize the students receiving their Bachelor of Science in Technology, Arts, and Media from the College of Engineering and Applied Science. As each of your names are announced, I hope you can visualize walking up on stage to accept your degree, shaking hands with all of the faculty, and having your family and friends applaud wildly to celebrate this exciting milestone. On behalf of all of us at Atlas, congratulations to each and every TAM major. Sophie Adams. Joshua Aguilar Wynn. Sahil Bajaj. Divya Bandretti. Nathaniel Bennett. Serena Marie Buxton. Allison Casey. Jackie Chung. Ethan Cho. Brittany Choi. Isabella Colosimo. Xavier Kaur. Kenny Cox. Jordan Denning. Diana Duffy. Sarah English. Kyle Fauché. Alex File. Kirsten Garthwaite. Benjamin Gillespie. Joss Gitlin. Hunter Haller. Tristan Hanna. Damian Howard. Albert Jin. Sky Johnson. Willie Kirby. Ari Klebanov. Jolie Klefiker. Madeline LeMay. Hai Li. Yame Liao. Jiang Lo. Jennifer Megan Ma. George Marshall. Jack Marty. Napas Masa Dienvong. Kara Metcalf. Laura Murray. Jared Myers. Jordan Nahabetian. Varun Narayan Swami. Xander Nelson. Kathy Nguyen. Nolan Olada. Corbin Peters. Israel Quinones. Abby Reinerson. Elsa Raber. Peter Rosenthal. Rebecca Salisbury. Samuel Sawyer. Matt Sexton. Fiorella Sabonez. Cadence Spielman. 
Sarah St. Clair, Brooke Stevens, Daniel Strangefeld, Summerlin Thompson, Benjamin Vernon, Bo Walters, James Wong, Campbell White. Congratulations to all of our graduates and the class of 2020. And I want to join our graduates in saying thank you so much to the family and friends who have joined us today and to all of you who have supported all of these students throughout their educational careers. That concludes this afternoon's virtual recognition ceremony, but please keep watching and enjoy some of the parting words from the class of 2020. Hey, TAM majors. What's up, TAM fam? I just want to give a shout out to our Atlas 2020 graduates. I just wanted to say a big congratulations for everyone who's graduating. Congrats, Atlas, class of 2020. I'm sorry we can't celebrate in person, but I just wanted to tell you how proud I am of each and every one of you. Congratulations. I know it's a rough start to this new chapter of your lives, but I'm confident in your abilities and your mindset to go forward. I've enjoyed getting to know so many of you and watch you grow during these years. I hope you've loved your time at CU. Now go do amazing things and most importantly, have fun. It's been great working with you over the past few years and we wish you all the best. And all of the best luck with, uh, with everything moving forward. Congratulations. Wishing you a happy life, bright future, have fun. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Just don't forget about us. We love hearing from you, so please keep in touch. Please stay in touch, and please be sure to visit us again in the future. Go Buffs! And go Buffaloes! Bye. Congratulations. Bye. Thank you, Atlas. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you to all the instructors. Love you all. Thanks, Mom, Dad, Brandon, Monica, Nicole, and Michael for all your love and support through college. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Nate, Elsa, and Varun, I can't wait to see what our next adventures are. Congratulations on graduating. I just want to say thanks to my family, my friends, um, TAM faculty, Atlas faculty, everyone involved in the TAM program at CU in general. You guys have been incredible. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. I want to give a big thanks to the Atlas faculty and a special thanks to Shaz Amore, Morella Allister, Jill Dupre and Ruche Cohen, Donya Leitinger, Laura Devendorf, and Matt Bethford. And thank you so much to my Amma and Abba, my big brothers, and all my friends. I cherish you all so dearly, even if you still don't understand what my degree is. Thanks to the whole Burton Kirby family, especially you, Mom and Dad. And a special thanks to all my teachers and professors throughout the years. You guys rock. Thank you so much to your Atlas faculty and staff for this wonderful education opportunity. Shout out to Marissa Reynolds, a great advisor. Also, thanks to all the faculties and teachers of Atlas. Thanks for everything. Pam. We will miss you. The Amigos are. Out! Tamily, I'll catch you on the flippity flip. <laughs> thanks to everyone at Atlas for helping me embrace my creativity in college. And thanks to my family and friends for helping me through. Let's go Buffs. What can I say, Boulder? It's been a pleasure going to school here for, for four years and now it's it's time for me to move onward. It's it's time. It's I wanted to thank Jill and Roche for putting in all the extra time and effort it takes to run Atlas behind the scenes. You really created a memorable two years and uh, really a launching point for what I want to do in my life. Thanks again. Jill and Roche, there is more to thank you for than I could possibly put into words, but I will try. Uh, thank you for making sure that I felt supported and comfortable, for always being in my corner, 
for always being game to brainstorm and plan with me and really for creating something amazing that has helped me become a better version of myself than I possibly could have imagined. Jill, Roche, thank you so much. The Creative Technologies and Design Track has been an awesome experience and I can't thank you enough. Thank you, Jill and Roche. I'd like to say thank you so much to both Jill and Roche for all of their unwavering support and helpfulness during my master's program at CU Boulder. Thank you, Jill and Roche, for everything that you've done for us. I wouldn't be in this program without you, and I am so happy to have done it and greatly appreciate all the time and effort that you put into all of us. Thank you. Jill and Roche, I can't say thank you enough. You believed in me even when I couldn't. I don't think I would be where I am today without you, and I'm so grateful for your mentorship, advice, and just everything you've given to this program. Thank you. Thank you so much to Jill, Roche, and my professors at Atlas for your continued support and guidance these past two years. I'd like to say thank you to Jill and Roche for everything you've done. I couldn't have done it without you. I want to give an extra special thank you to Jill Dupre, Roche Cohen, and Matthew Bethencourt. I lean on you guys a lot when I need support, and I always feel like I could be myself with you. I know it was probably a lot of times, and for that, I'm even more thankful for your patience and understanding with me through this journey. The classes I took in game design and development changed my world for the better. None of it would have been possible without you guys and the CTD Alice program. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm Jack Lewis. I'm a VR developer. And a special thanks to Jill and Roche for making the whole process a lot easier and being super supportive. Roche and Jill, I don't have enough words to thank you for supporting me, for believing in me, even when I was not believing in myself and for caring not only as a student, but caring for me as a human being. And I'm so, so grateful for everything you've done for me.